What's up guys? Today in our quest to find alternative options against the gigawales in top live arena, we're gonna take a look at Flygate of the Meltwater. I wanna see the actual new... Oh nice, nice, perfect. There you go, that's it. He was released to the game, I think maybe like two or three months ago or something like that. And I happened to pull him maybe I want to say like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. The, the last time that I pulled like, um, I don't remember which one was it, Ancients or Sacreds. The last time that I pulled them, I got him. And I was planning to consider using him, but I didn't so far. And I also recently got Maud, who was also a reviver with defense buff. So I was kind of, you know, 50-50, do I want to gear him, do I want to use him, but then I kind of thought about it more and I think I'm gonna, or at least we're gonna test him today and find out, but I think I can use him for different purpose than I'm using Maud. So let's take a quick look at his kit and see why you would want to maybe build him for arena. And by the way, you can already see that we're in... 9 breeze protection set and this is kind of you know not fully as ascended gear and kind of work in progress and a test build but this is basically how I would build him and this same build will be very good for Hydra so you can kind of run both of them but so that if we look at his skills like the things that he actually does he's a reviver with defense buff those are you know the main things that I'm very interested and in trying to get. I really want to get some kind of Sifi alternative for PvP to use my Galleos and have a defense buff. And there really isn't many of those champions in the game. The only revivers with defense buff are Sifi, Kim and Maud. But Maud can't use her defense buff unless she revives target. So it's not quite as consistent for this even though she has other very good uses, like countering debuffs from Marius and Galatir and many others. But what Clayke does is that he, first of all, he fits perfectly in the archetype of protection set, and you'll see it in a second, why we're running him in that instead of stone skin, like you usually do with revivers. But on his A3, he does a revive and defense buff and accuracy buff. If he doesn't revive anybody, he will get an extra turn. Now the revive itself is not very strong. 40% HP and 25% turn meter. I don't think in practice this honestly is very useful very often. I think almost every time your nukers are just gonna die after they get revived before they get a turn. Unless you have like some other CZ champion like maybe Armans or Mikage covering your ass after the revive. So I would kind of consider him a pseudo reviver. This is not really that good and not the main reason of using him. But he does have it and it's nice to have maybe two revivers in some battles and so on. But usually you would open the battle with this skill and you get accuracy buff and defense buff for everybody and you get an extra turn so we kind of got very interesting you know maybe air street type of vibes here and then on the a2 you get attack buff and perfect whale on everybody and 15 percent turn meter boost so you are being hyper ag aggressive at the start of the battle you're getting four different buffs attack buff defense buff perfect whale and accuracy buff by the way, this perfectly fits, fits, fits. This perfectly fits somebody like Galleus, who is doing buff strip as an ogre and a defense down. So, I think this might be a good combination with him. But not only do you get all of those buffs and turn meter, but on his passive, allies under perfect well buff, placed by this champion, deal 10% more damage, and then you get extra 10%. If enemy has buffs but it doesn't really end there because so you get four different buffs 
and you get 10% from the passive and of course you, you know you get the extra damage increase from attack buff or defense buff but if you build him in protection set and go all the way to 9 piece then allies deal 5% more damage per each buff placed by the wearer so not only do you get 10% from the passive and 20% from the protection set assuming that you of course you know go first and the buffs don't get stripped and so on but you get 30% increased damage and you have attack and defense buffs so your nukers can kind of do most what they have and then on A1 actually kind of cute as well he, he's clearly meant to be like free to play Sifi let's put it that way but on the A1 he hits two times and each, has, each hit has 35% chance of putting a free step off but if target is 50% HP or less then it cannot be resisted very clear very similar wipes to Sifi except kind of you know the opposite route but very good ability now the main concern that I have with him is that he's not that tanky I mean he's okay tanky like 21 and a half thousand health is a good amount but in this build you definitely you're already going with protection so you're not gonna have stone skin but you also want to definitely go for a max speed as much as you can and that's gonna leave him a little bit squeezy I don't know how you know practical that's not that's gonna be for me personally but if you have a lot faster protection set this might be super good so basically the same type of build that you would often put on a Sifi like a protection set and very fast and little bit tankiness on the side that's basically what we're going for him and what I would use on him if I were you now as you can see we have some cute pieces we have triple speed weapon and helmet and then we have kind of okay double speed shield the gauntlets are okay double speed but we need to you know ask in them and then we have kind of bad only one speed and no defense chest so I'm not running insane gear here as you can see I'm even using like five star accessories so we're kind of honestly going with the bottom of the barrel and we can do a lot of upgrades here like we don't even have a single extra roll on speed on the banner but that's basically how I would build him I wouldn't even go with accuracy since he does have the mechanic on the A1 that you might not always need accuracy and you really want to focus on speed as much as possible on him I would kind of build accuracy and defense as secondary that if you can gloop it you definitely want to put some accuracy and if you have two equal pieces then I would go with that but I wouldn't lose any speed for accuracy let's put it that way as far as masteries go as you can see I haven't farmed them yet I'm gonna farm them on weekend but let me show you what I would actually use on him when we're maxed you could go with accuracy on the support tree too either one doesn't really matter it's not that big deal the important things that you want to go are towards the end part you want to get the lore of steel to get as much as speed as possible and other stats from the set bonuses then you want to get lasting gifts to increase the duration of all of the buffs which he does four different buffs and with the passive and protection set it's kind of the main point of his kit and then you basically want to go with this defense tree I wouldn't change anything in the defense tree but in offense tree you could go with extra accuracy if you want on the first two tiers as far as this blessing goes if you have six star blessing I will definitely go with the uh, tier some presence as the tier six mastery if you don't have that nothing else really stands out here I would either go with bulwark but probably not because you're not building him tanky anyway so maybe just extra life or equal eye but I don't think those honestly make any difference the fearsome presence and bulwark are by far the best tier 6 masteries on the defense and support tree assuming that you're not going heavily on accuracy or resistance of course and yeah the blessing I would go with polymorph 
outside of that, if you're using him like as a speed booster in a pseudo speed team, you probably would want to have both temporal chains and intimidating presence on your team. And basically either one of those two that you would have on him as well. The other alternative is Polymorph, but if you don't have 6 star blessing and you're not building like 400 accuracy or something like that, and again, I would go all in on speed, I wouldn't go heavily on accuracy, just pick one of the two, Imperal, <laughs> Imperal. Intimidating Presence or Temporal Chains, I kind of mix those two. Anyway, so let's do a battle and see how it actually works out in practice. Oh, Even Live Arena is up. Okay, let's do let's do one classic arena battle and then do live arena. I totally forgot that live arena was about to be up. I'm not gonna make live arena video right now, so it's not an issue, but we could totally do one battle. It's kind of you know semi early on in the week, you know. Well, not that early on, but it's not the weekend yet, so I'm not at the top of the Platinum Arena yet, so we're not getting the bestest of the teams, but let's try against this team. Just as a showcase, and this guy happens to have a Harima anyway, and I'm mostly using Galleus as Harima counter. I mean, I'm using him just in general, but the main thing I like about him is countering Harima. And with this team comp, we kind of get best out of the both worlds, we get boss for Garleus and protection from Necrot. And then we also have Wukong here, possibly buff shipping them and putting block buff debuff on them, which we couldn't do now because of the bolster set. But, um, right? Yeah, because of it. But um, then you can maybe land, land the decreased defense and kill them. Okay, so we, we can't we can't dip off the Harma, but I'm kind of curious how much damage are we gonna do with the Mitral now? I, I I hope he doesn't proc Helm Smasher because I kind of want to see. Actually, should I wait one turn? There's no way we're gonna have enough accuracy for Mitral, and the Duchess might weak it. Maybe should maybe we should wait one turn. Let's do the A3 for now and maybe reduce the boss on them. Okay, so Mitrola did almost die, and that was, by the way, without the decreased defense. That that was... Of course, the Mitrola doesn't look very tanky, but that wasn't the maximum output that we can do. Now, the team that I chose here, this is like something I could actually pick in a battle, so we're kind of doing a beta test, but I need to get my clay get way faster than he is. Okay, I maybe made some mistakes here. Now they have the <laughs> the immunity and I, I should have waited for it. But we, we get the cooldown reset on the passive if we get a kill on targets with decreased defense. So we probably can get it back instantly anyway. Yeah, we, we, we can just spam the A2 at, at this point. Again, this is not like, you know, peak of the high IQ competitive battle. I'm kind of just testing and showcasing his kit, and it seems kind of useful. I would say that him doing defense buff and accuracy buff is the same thing that Marius does, so he kind of... By the way, we, we rotate the, these skills very fast because we get extra turns, but he kind of competes with Marius on that department. But, you know, you might not have Marius, Marius might be picked by the enemy team, it might be banned, it might be useful to have both of them. So you could totally consider using Clyket. And I'm, I'm going to be using him next week on the videos. I'm going to be this weekend off. So n not, not this weekend, but next week we're definitely going to use him. I'm literally... <laughs> I'm going to leave, leave like right after I'm done with this video. I'm going to go to the train and travel to the other side of country. And I'm not going to be home for a few days. So I wanted to quickly get this video and couple others done for a weekend and 
they can then I can bail out and go eat some crawfish and enjoy some sauna. Okay, let's do let's do one library in a battle and kind of put ourselves to the test and actually actually try it against a real team. The gear we have right now is not very strong. I'm expecting a loss, but we're we're gonna go for it anyway. Okay, good luck, DK Naren. Oh, by the way, I totally could see somebody who is very fast. Maybe, maybe Biohack. <laughs> Biohack pro probably could do really well with Clay Cat. He kind of. Wait, where is my Armands? Why can't I see it? Oh, it's blind. Yeah, I literally have the cursor on top of Armands and I can't see it, but. I think somebody who is very fast, who relies on speed teams, I think Claycat could be kind of similar, similar to Eostrid, who is actually kind of popular and maybe almost more popular than Arbiter in high-end library right now. I haven't checked the numbers from Hell Hades website, I probably, <laughs> probably should do that first before spouting any misinformation, but from my subjective impression I think people use him more than Arbiter. I mean use her more than Arbiter. Okay, what are we doing here? Um fuck. I want a big Elstrid here, so we're just gonna force it. Mm, yeah, we're, we're we're gonna force it here. Fuck it. I, I don't I probably would want to pick Angora and Necrot maybe here. But probably we're gonna go with Playcat and Necrot and we're just gonna <laughs> We're gonna force in the the Playcat and see what happens. Oh he he picked the Angora anyway, so he's not even giving me the option. Oh I I should have put Glaycat in my Tax it, it's pain in the ass to try to find any champions if you don't have arena tax on them. That's what I recommend you guys to do as well, so that you don't panic and you don't find the right champion on the last moment. Hmm, I feel like we should ban the Marios in this battle. Okay, let's get a clay get win. Come on. Would be good content for the video. I, I kind of screwed the arena battle and made it last way longer than was necessary. Even, you know, it was a showcase and I was talking and not really thinking about it too deeply. But let's redeem ourselves and get this win. Okay, well, I'm not fast and Mikake went before me and we're stunned, so that's not a great start. I hope, I hope Clayget can survive long enough to do something. Wait, should we just do defense buff right now to make sure that Clayget doesn't die? I almost feel like we could do it. Yeah, let's st stall it a little bit. We are gonna lose one turn of the defense buff though when we switch form on Galleos on the next turn, but let's get the defense buff to make sure that Plaget doesn't die and get all of the protections at boss on Galleos and do a big nuke. We, we had to wait out for the stone skin anyway, so it's not like we could have done a lot with the A3. Okay, he, he buffed our defense buff, he thought he was smart, <laughs> but we're just gonna get another defense buff instantly. And I think, do I have to open with the Galleos A3? Because he's gonna have like insane amount of buffs right now. What? I'm surprised he didn't cover the stone skin. Okay. Galleos, do your worst. Let's, let's destroy it. Please don't get polymorph. I, 
Not on the video, please. Not not this time. Afterwards, when I do live arena battles, then, then it can happen. But please, not now. <laughs> I want to see the actual look without volume more. Oh, nice, nice, perfect. There you go. That's it. That's that's what I wanted on video. As you can see, you know, let's not give all the credit to Clayhead, but he has some arguments why you should use him. Sifi is very similar, so if you have Sifi, you probably want to use her. I mean, you definitely want to use her. But Clayhead does have his own own things. I guess he does well, which Sifi doesn't do, and you get a little bit more damage with his passive than you would get with Sifi. But obviously, you know, Sifi is faster. She has better revive, she does a uh, better turn meter boost and speed buff. Sifi is definitely better, but if you're a scuffed pleb and you don't have Sifi, I don't think Clayget is actually that bad, and I maybe underestimated him before, and after I tried him out a little bit, he's kind of looking better, but what I need to do on my Clayget is improve the gear a lot and get better speed, especially better banner. Anyway, that's it. Give Clyde a go. If you think I'm totally wrong and he sucks, then let me know in the comments. But that's it. See ya.